Superwash yarn absorbs color faster than non-superwash yarn. Here in the pan, I'm dyeing up four skeins of yarn, two that are superwash and two that are non-superwash. And as I pour on the dyes, you can sort of see a difference in the pan already. On our superwash yarns that are diagonal from each other, the dyes are looking a little bit more saturated and intense because they're not spreading as much as they are on those non-superwash yarns. However, since I have our yarn twisted here in the pan as I'm adding on the dyes, the resulting yarns are way more similar than they are in other examples I've done of superwash versus non-superwash yarn. Because the way I had the yarns in the pan provided some amount of resist and limited how far each of the dyes could travel. And I'm really excited because sometimes it's hard to leave white in your non-superwash yarns. Uh, and this was a fairly easy resist technique to do here in the pan. And just as I get excited when I have dramatic differences when I change one variable, I also can be really excited when the results are not as dramatic. Yes, our superwash yarn has more white in it than the non-superwash yarn, but these differences are way more subtle than I might have expected. And so that was very exciting.